Hey everyone, it's Andrew Carr right here, TGIF. Happy Friday. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday and ready for the weekend. Here's your daily stimulus check, your second stimulus check, your third stimulus check, and your executive actions, executive orders, memorandums, moratoriums, and stimulus package update for Friday, February 5th, 2021. Find out which two tax filing tips could save you time, effort, and money. Who doesn't want that? Why leading economists are demanding more disaster relief funds due to the recent employment report that came out today. Weakness, oh God. And the great news from the Senate that moves us another step closer to the approval of President Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus package voted on today. And guess what? Camilla was the most important person in the Senate after this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, and elevate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel. Also, I'm giving away $1,700 cash out of my pocket to you because I love you. So all you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment. That's it. It's free. You don't have to pay nothing. It's just out of nowhere, you could get $1,700 if you're picked. So please do that. And also, honestly, it helps with the channel, right? So, and also hit the bell notification so you're notified when new videos pop up. Also down below, grab your Weeble stock. This is amazing. Limited time offer, two stocks for free. One could be valued up to $1,600 when you deposit 100 bucks. You don't have to, but I recommend it because you get a bigger, more money, bigger stock. And thank you to my Patreons who support the channel for as little as three bucks, five articles a week. Look in my investment portfolio, copy my free book. But first, due to the craziness of 2020, right? And the IRS having multiple jobs, not just trying to collect money and manage the tax returns for all of Americans, eh, they had to push the date back. The starting date for Americans to file their taxes has been pushed back to get this because a lot of people, they file tax returns to get money back, right? That's why this is a big day, especially in the auto business. It's a huge day. February 12th is when you can start filing your taxes, February 12th. So about seven days away from the 5th, right, to the 12th, seven days, with unemployment benefits being taxable income, as well as stimulus checks available to people that did not receive them in their tax return. So remember, this is another chance to get the money that you didn't get. This year's tax filing season could be the most important filing time in recent memory, and you want to make sure that you do it right because I don't want you to miss out on your stimulus for the second time if you didn't get it. Unfortunately, fortunately, two strategic tax tips can help you get a firm grasp on your finances and taxes as we head deeper into 2020. Yes, the second month, first month's gone. First, you should make sure to file your taxes just as a good American, even if you typically don't send your information to the IRS as your $1,200 stimulus check could be included in your annual tax return. If you don't file taxes and you didn't get anything, but you file, you could see that $1,200 coming back in the form of a refund. Second, tax experts agree that you should file your taxes as soon as possible, right? To ensure that you get the stimulus funds as soon as possible, right? So, so right away, you could be looking at a check that you thought you'd never get, right? If you've been waiting around since like March. I hope this information is helpful to millions of Americans ready to file taxes and be sure to always contact a financial expert before making major money moves like tax filing or listening to random YouTubers talk about what you should do with money. I, that's why I always say this is never, ever financial advice. This is just my experience and sharing some love. Meanwhile, a lukewarm job report, lukewarm, meaning that kind of sucks. Yeah, it was released recently by the Department of Labor. This is the report of actual employment, not the filed claims, first time filing claims, but the actual full report of who's employed. Very different report. And financial experts believe that these mediocre numbers are a sign that more stimulus funds are necessary for a full economic recovery, meaning now that we see who's employed, which means those are the people getting money, well, 
there's not enough going into the economy to sustain it. Therefore, we need more funds put in to stabilize the economy. Charlie Ripley, senior e uh, investment strategist at Al Zen Investment Management, explained, quote, the weakness portrayed in today's jobs report opens the door for the Biden administration to push forward with a higher spending package and provide relief for millions of Americans and businesses that continue to struggle with the pandemic. This is no new story to you, but if you're insulated in that Washington bubble, you don't feel the pain that we feel and see right in front of us. Chris Lowe, chief economist at uh, F. H in financial stated, quote, there is still an enormous amount of work to be to be done and to get back to maximum employment. We're going to all have to gather together, work together. Uh, even our government might have to work together, too, to make sure that we can get a full recovery. Is that even possible after this morning's vote? They passed a vote this morning. It's interesting to see how polarized they still are down at the Capitol. While we're definitely on the road towards a robust economic recovery, if we can keep it together, it's crystal clear that more stimulus funds are necessary to help Americans get back to the way things were before this thing out there ruined everything. And also, you know, it, with these economists telling the politicians, the politicians can't ignore what they're doing because if they don't pass relief and the economy goes in the tank, They'll get blamed for it. And then in two years, the Democrats will get voted out because right now they control every branch of government except the Supreme Court. Finally, we talked yesterday about the House passing a budget reconciliation to get the ball rolling on President Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus package. And now the Senate has followed suit and passed their own reconciliation bill earlier this morning. Yes, there was a vote this morning. You might still have been asleep if you're on the Pacific Coast. They already passed it, obviously. They're on the East Coast three hours ahead. They like to get an early start. It's Friday. They want to leave, and just like everybody else on Friday, they want to get out early and slip out the door, right? Well, they voted 51 to 50. And yes, like I told you before the election and when the election happened, how it was going to roll out if Georgia lost. And guess who broke the tie? Literally every Republican voted against this. Every Democrat voted for this, and a couple of independents, they voted for it. And guess who broke the tie? Like I said, one of the most important people now for the next two years at a bare minimum is Vice President Kamala Harris using her first tie-breaking vote to pass along this legislation. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, isn't she the vice president? Didn't she run with Biden? Isn't she just supposed to kick it and travel the world and negotiate, you know, talk to world leaders? Yeah, but she's also the president overse that oversees the Senate. She's the one with the gavel. Remember, we've been seeing, you know, um, our other guy up there, a Republican Pence, get with the gavel and stuff. Remember, he was there with the whole Capitol rundown. Well, now it's Kamala Harris that rules over that roost, which will require additional approval, though, from the House because it is a different bill than what was already approved. But... <laughs> <laughs> the Democrats own the House, too. So and they're definitely going to want to make sure Kamala Harris is happy because she is super important. Get this. She could be the most powerful person in the country right now. Right. Because all Biden can do is sign bills, signing bills that Kamala Harris is the one that gets the approval for. She gets the approval. Nancy goes, go, Kamala Harris. And then Biden signs. That's how it's going to roll. Get used to it, folks. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer explained, quote, I am thankful that our caucus stayed together in unity. We had no choice given the problems facing America and the desire to move forward, and we have to move forward. He also added, quote, this was a bipartisan activity, at least they tried, and is exciting about getting popular stimulus items like the $1,400 stimulus check and extended enhanced unemployment benefits in the bank accounts of millions of struggling Americans. This just means this is so much closer to your front door, it's not even funny. And if they passed it in the Senate, all the House has to do is rubber stamp it, and they're good to go. Hopefully this new $1.9 trillion, trillion, dollar stimulus package can be fully approved soon as these vital stimulus measures are extremely important for millions of Americans like I need to tell you 
that are in need of some much needed fiscal support for the government and obviously the jobs report. I mean, who the employment report reflects exactly what's going on. Because I know in the comments yesterday, I saw lots of them that the jobs report for Thursday isn't real, it isn't accurate, it doesn't count people that fall off. And yes, we know that it's just the, you know, and I, I guesstimate, we have to account for that stuff, but they have to put something on a piece of paper and we have to have something to go by. But you are right, the ones that comment, you are absolutely right, the jobs report is not 100% accurate, <laughs> it sucks. That's your stimulus check, second stimulus check, and your executive action and stimulus package update for Friday, February 5th, 2021. It's funny when something sucks, but if that's all you got, that's all you got. So hopefully somebody will come up with something better. I kind of like shadow, shadow stats, but when I say shadow stats, people go, who's that? Yeah, and so I, I, I don't report those. Report the, we report the DOL, the approved stuff. Thank you for watching. Happy Friday. And for making it to the end, please leave a comment with how you think the plan, how you plan to spend your upcoming $1,400 stimulus check. Are you going to go to Facebook's and Instagram's new shopping tab and buy something new? Or are you going to go to Wish, the Wish app and buy a $33 wedding dress? Hmm. I should do that. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Stay safe. Take care. Love you. I'm just curious. Can you get a wedding? You can get a wedding dress for $33? It's crazy. Love you.